the cider industry in the U.S. has grown by 850% over the last five years. It's just skyrocketing. It's phenomenal. It's probably the most exciting thing that's happened to the apple industry in quite some time. So now we have a lot of questions on the research side. Um, what are the best apples to grow for cider? How do we grow them? Uh, what's, the, what's the best way to um, harvest uh, or what's the best time to harvest a, an apple for cider? Is it the same or is it different than what we would want to do for a culinary apple? When we were looking at strains of certain varieties, um, for instance, gala, we um, grow a good number of gala and we went to a twilight fruit growers meeting that's hosted by Virginia Tech's Extension and we were able to visit other farms that were growing a number of those different strains so that we could actually see and taste and look at them and hear from uh, people who had done the research and also farmers who were growing them commercially. That, that's invaluable when you're looking at a catalog from a nursery and there are many different ones to choose from. So here again, those decisions are the, the influence of Virginia Tech's extension program. It feels like this mix between academia and the real world to help us figure out how to make it work in reality.